Hello there! Um, I'm very glad to see you here. Uh, today we're going to start by studying the French language. Uh, today we are going to uh, take a look to a uh, brief introduction to what is French. How does it speak? How does it work? So, uh, I'm one of the former uh, teachers at the Spanish 360 Academy. I'm in charge of the area of French and uh, I'm going to guide you uh, during these minutes on French. But, first of all, what is French? Okay, French is a language used, spoken by almost uh, 20 million people around the world. In 29 countries, uh, as long as the overseas departments of French, of France, and so we can see like uh, France, obviously, um, Switzerland, Canada, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, etc. There are tons of territories in which uh, French is spoken. Uh, for that reason, French is a language that may be very useful for people to speak, to learn, to see it, etc. But when I'm speaking about being useful, what I mean? Okay. Uh, French is obviously used on the, for the touristic aspect. You may be thinking about the Louvre, the, the, the Tour Eiffel at Paris, etc., the Ancel Castle, Saint Leon, etc., and uh, tons of touristic and famous places are <laughs> principally on places in which you speak French. Also for business, there are tons, tons, tons of enterprises which are placed in Canada, in Belgium, in France, which are originally uh, from France, who have heads who speak French, which more of their employees speak French, etc. So for that reason, we see that uh, enterprises like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Michelin, Renault, Peugeot, all those enterprises uh, represent all this economical range that are around the French language. Because it's not only about culture or, or touristic reasons, you can also make business with French. And when you know the, the language, you have certainly some advantages when speaking to other people. And finally, also the culture. Um, Sports, music, lots of culture are centered on the on the French. You can find museums, uh, I don't know, uh, castles, carnivals, etc., in which tons of people speak French. So if you want to connect that culture to that people, you may be wanting to know French. Also, for writing love letters, since uh, French is the language of love, etc. All those uses have French, and that's why it is a very important language to learn, not only for how many people it speaks, it speaks it, etc., also for how many influence it has on the uh, 21th century culture. Okay, so, uh, now we are going to work in some common phrases, phrases using in French. Uh, you're probably thinking, okay, I just want to know the basics so far, so let's check how do you think about it. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, let's have some phrases that are meaning under their uses. So, first of all, we got bonjour, bonsoir, et je m'appelle, which are uh, like the equivalents to good morning, good evening, and my name is, or I am, etc. So, uh, these are some phrases to introduce yourself, <laughs> to say, hey, it's a beautiful morning, it's a beautiful night, etc. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Enchanté, oh, enchanté. Comment allez-vous? So, here you can see that there are a difference in writing, uh, because we are talking to the person and saying, hey, I'm pleased to meet you. How are you? But uh, it differs if you're talking to a 
woman or to a man. Or if you are a woman, if you are a man. In the case of the woman, uh, French has a characteristic which, uh, depending on the genre of the person, the genre they have, they feel more comfortable with, uh, we can add this E at the end for the women, first of all, to um, like clarify the difference. It is something you will find that is not very common in French, but you may think about it as something curious, at least. So, let's keep going. Uh, comment vous vous appelez? Or comment vous appelez vous? Uh, this is what is your name? It's like, hey, uh, comment vous appelez vous? Uh, you are meeting someone and you want to know their name. It's like pretty transparent when you think about it. Au revoir. I'm pretty sure you have seen this one on movies. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir, monsieur. That is, goodbye. See you later. I hope you're good, etc. Okay, those are one of the most common phrases, like hello, bye bye, etc. that most people know from TV, from internet, etc. So, let's keep going. Okay, but let's suppose you want to survive in France or in Canada, etc. Uh, you may need to communicate some things. So, parlez vous anglais? Do you speak English? It's like, okay, I can understand most of you, but if you speak English, it will be better. So, parlez-vous anglais? Uh, Pourriez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? And let's suppose you are going to get something at the supermarket, I don't know, and you are asking the other people to help you. So, Pourriez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? Uh, Pourriez-je vous poser une question, s'il vous plaît? May I make you a question, please? It's like when you are, uh, you are really confused, you are like uh, doing a touristic parade, etc. And you want to ask something to the person who is speaking to you. So in that case, you say, hey, where is your question, s'il vous plaît? It's like, hey, may I make you a question? May I make a question? Uh, one that may be really interesting for you, if you can't like really communicate in French. It's like... Mm, Désolé, je ne parle pas français. Like, sorry, I do not speak English or I don't speak French. I'm sorry, French. So it's like, mm, I'm sorry, I know you are speaking to me, but I, I, I don't speak French. So, je ne parle pas français. Uh, but let's suppose you feel comfortable enough to understand the other people. But they are probably speaking so fast or... Uh, using a weird accent, it may happen, so you ask them to repete, s'il vous plaît. Like, repeat, please. Uh, repete, s'il vous plaît. Qu'est-ce que vous avez you know, When you are asking this person to, you know, uh, say it again so I can get the message more clear. Also, uh, you can ask this person to speak more slowly. Pourriez-vous parler plus lentement, s'il vous plaît? It's like, uh, could you speak more slowly, please? So, in these cases, you can see, you are trying to adapt the communication to other people to yours. So, you can feel more comfortable speaking, etc. Okay, let's continue. Okay, one that you may already know or may already see. You may know, I don't know them. You probably know them. But you don't remember that they are from French. Probably the easiest one is we, oui, which is yes. Hey, do you want something? We. Oui. <laughs> That's very common to know. Um, obviously no, no. It's okay. It's transparent. It's like the same. But it's important to know that that n exists there at the end of no. Okay, s'il vous plaît. It's like please. Um. This is like a phrase that express uh, still you play means that uh, if you want to. <laughs> it's more like that. But the meaning is always police. Um, s'il vous plaît, could you come here? S'il vous plaît, pourriez-vous venir ici? Etc. We have merci and 
the uh, revenge of which is Merci Beaucoup, which uh, depends on what you are trying or willing to say to the other person, which is uh, thanks, which is hey, thanks, thanks, yes, or thanks a lot, hey, thanks a lot, you saved me, etc. It depends on what you're willing to say to the other person. Uh, excuse me, or oh, pardon. This is sorry. Uh, pardon is like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, excuse me, is like, I'm sorry, I didn't want to do that. It was my mistake, etc. Excuse me. Uh, très bien, which is very good. Mm. Uh, the taste of this soap. This is très bien. This tastes so good. Uh, ça soupe, c'est très bien, c'est très délicieux. This is very good. Uh, let's suppose someone asks you, Hey, how are you? You say, Hey, I'm fine, and you? So, uh, you're going to say them, Hey, comment allez-vous? Uh, très bien. Et vous? Which is, Hey, what about you? Uh, je vous en prie. Which is a way to say, Hey, you're welcome. Hey, merci beaucoup, monsieur. Je vous en prie. It's like, you are welcome. It's no problem. So, uh, we have three forms to say it like Darien, which is also, you're welcome, but it's more um, closer to do not mention it. Don't mention it, don't worry. And finally, avec plaisir, which is, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to help you. So, um, avec plaisir, uh, je vous aide énormément. Uh, un problème, etc. Donc, avec plaisir, it was a question. Ok, no words that may help you to understand or to communicate with people is uh, je ne comprends pas, which is I can't understand, I don't get it, it's confusing to me, uh, could you repeat please, etc. It's like no, je ne comprends pas. Uh, tu sais qu'est-ce qui dit à la route de bus? Non, je ne comprends pas. <laughs> we have d'accord, which is ok, got it. D'accord. Uh, merci beaucoup. Thanks a lot. We already saw this one, but always remember the beaucoup uh, means like I'm really Excusez-moi. Sorry, I'm sorry. And others maybe like one you may hear a lot, a lot, a lot is Sava, which means hey, how are you? And if someone asks you, hey, Sava, you can be Sava bien, Sava mal, uh, Sava comme si comme ça, or Sava plus ou moins. Uh, this is mostly something that child say but it's good to start with this like is uh, I'm good I'm bad or I'm more or less today or so so you can say also uh, so up more <laughs> all these means uh, how are you at the moment how are you today etc so is like a very common use expression and I think this one is quite good so Let's continue. Let's suppose you have a ride to France and you're at your hotel. And you want to communicate with the other person without much complication. What can you say? Okay. For example, j'ai une réservation. I have a reservation. Ah, okay, let me check. J'ai une réservation. Oh, d'accord, monsieur, je vais uh, réviser que, comment vous appelez, etc. Uh, C'est combien par nuit? How much does it cost a night? Or how much does a night cost? Which is uh, combien refers to the prices, me, night. So you are asking the person uh, how much it's going to cost a night at that hotel, at that hostel, etc. Est-ce que le petit déjeuner est inclus? Is breakfast included? It's like when you are asking for more information. Like, is it que le petit déjeuner inclus? 
Est-ce que les services de Wi-Fi est inclus? Est-ce que uh, les services de batterie série est inclus? Etc. You can ask for lots of services using this small phrase. Also, uh, you can say, Je voudrais faire mon checkout, s'il vous plaît. Which is, I would like to register my checkout, please. Which means, like, I would like to do this. So, uh, we normally say, Je voudrais. Like, hey, you would like a party, you uh, would like a baguette, which is, I would like to, I would like to have that. Uh, Est-ce que je peux payer avec la carte de crédit? Uh, you can ask a lot of things like, Est-ce que je peux, which is, is, I can, can I, can I do this? Est-ce que je peux toucher ceci? Est-ce que je peux uh, prendre une photo? Etc. All those phrases you can say, can I, in this case, can I play my credit card when you are at the hotel? And you are asking, hey, can I pay with your pay methods? Okay, and let's suppose you have a right to a restaurant for a business negotiation or you are just hungry. Um, you can arrive and ask, hey, um, one table, oh, I'm really sorry. A table for two persons, s'il vous plaît. A table for two, please. Which is, a table for two persons, s'il vous plaît. Always being, being very polite, say, it's good place for people. This is like something we all would like to be called for. Uh, la carte, s'il vous plaît. The menu, please. Uh, also, like we have already mentioned before, je voudrais. Or je voudrais. I'm really sorry, I would like, which is, hmm, je voudrais les poulets dans l'oignon, je voudrais uh, les pommes de terre, je voudrais, etc. So, in that case, you are asking the person that you really want something specific. Uh, pour moi, la même chose. Uh, I want the same as him, I want the same as that person, I want the same. So, um, this can be uh, very useful for you if you want to not repeat information when you are with company, etc. And you don't feel like, mm, I don't want to tease, you maybe feel, you maybe feel shy when you are speaking to someone else and you don't want to like express a lot of things, so I want the same thing. For moi, la même chose. Uh, if you want to clarify some things about yourself, you can say, je suis végétal. Or bank or vegan. Like you like to clarify, no, I don't eat this, or I just uh, see uh, Muslim, etc. Uh, this may work for you to express to the other person that you have some um, specific needs when you are talking about uh, food. Finally, la vision s'il vous plaît, which is the bill please. This make <laughs> this make 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 you think like you're talking about addition like one plus one etc. No, in this case, addition it's the bill. Uh, let's suppose you are trying to move around the country, around the city, etc. Uh, un billet pour les taxis, un billet pour les bus, un billet pour uh, je ne sais pas. Le transport public, s'il vous plaît. One ticket for, please. Which is, un billet, it's a ticket, one ticket. Uh, un billet pour le football, un billet pour uh, des spectacles, pour des musées. C'est toujours un billet. It's always un billet. Uh, combien ça coûte? Uh, how much is cost? As we already saw. Uh, combien? It's like. How much? Uh, could, which means cost. You can see like there are some equivalences when we are talking, but it's quite different in some cases. And suppose you are trying to get to somewhere. Uh, quel est le train, ou le bus, pour aller à la Tour Eiffel? Quel est le train, ou le bus, pour aller au champ Uh Quel est le bus pour aller à la rue Mont-de-Port, etc. Which train, which bus goes to? 
It's like you find somewhere on the street and you, hey, could you help me? Which train goes to? Uh, bonjour, pourriez-vous uh, m'aider? Quel est le train pour aller à au aéroport? Vous appelez le train, c'est le train 23, 25, etc. Uh, pour appeler un taxi, c'est la même chose. Taxi! C'est très facile, très facile. Ok, uh, when you are already at the desk, you can say, ok, uh, je vais à la rue uh, Saint-Denis à Paris. I'm going to a street, Saint-Denis, at Paris. Uh, you can say also, je vais à la rue uh, Saint-Catherine, etc. If the, rue, if the street has numbers. Uh, you can also ask for directions, you see. Où se trouve? Où se trouve? Where is? Uh, I don't know, like. Où uh, se trouve la pâtisserie? Où uh, se trouve la boulangerie? Where is uh, the bakery? Etc. So, uh, probably they are going to give you some instructions. Instructions that may be simple. It's like, uh, tout droit, a straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Uh, à gauche, turn left, à droite, turn right. Also, um, other expressions you are probably needing or willing to remember is like, eh, pourriez-vous m'aider à? And then you, pourriez-vous m'aider à acheter quelque chose, à tomber, etc., à m'élever? Uh, Pourriez-vous m'aider à choisir un, un plat du menu, etc. Could you help me too? There are a lot of things you can say. Est-ce que vous savez du sel? Do you have salt? I would say you can change this like. Est-ce que vous savez du pain? Est-ce que vous savez un tel pain, etc. Uh, quelle heure est-il? What time is it? This is very transparent and really, really easy. Ciao. À quelle heure est-il? Mm, 18 heures, monsieur. Uh, Est-ce qu'il y a? Um, like, uh, Est-ce qu'il y a bière? Est-ce qu'il y a du vin? Uh, do you have beers? Do you have wine? Is there some wine in here? It's like when you are asking by, is here something like, I want this, there are? <laughs> also, où se trouve le métro? Where is the metro? It's important to remember that what who uh, always will have this this single already who which means who which means where. Uh, Washington le billet. Where do you buy the tickets? Uh, you can also say Washington le billet or Washington. Uh, uh, Dupont, etc. Where do you buy this? Uh, one expression which may be complicated at the beginning is Qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, you can see it's this very, very long guy here. And this means, hey, what is that? You signal something like, hey, qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, no, c'est uh, la mairie. Et c'est un monument à Napoléon. Oh, et ça, qu'est-ce que c'est? You are asking for what is what and what information about that. I don't probably see now. Uh, quoi? Which is what? How? It's like uh, someone tells you quoi? What? Uh, combien ça coûte? How much it costs? Où sont les toilettes? For the toilets, as you can see. Always when we are talking about uh, where something, the position, we say who. Et, uh, pourriez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? It's like when you are doing something, you have, you are having problems and someone sees you. Pourriez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? Uh, je ne comprends pas uh, les cartes, etc. Ok. Uh, on continue. Et let's suppose... Uh, you want to introduce yourself to other people. Uh, you can say, hey, je m'appelle Daniel. 
many years than you. And someone says, hey, uh, bienvenue. Si vous êtes une femme, ils vont vous dire bienvenue, which is a little different. Uh, bienvenue, welcome here. Uh, if you are not introducing yourself, you are not saying, hey, my name is. Uh, you are going to ask you for your name, which is, hey, como vous appelez-vous? Oh, eh, let's suppose uh, this person um, has already lots of confidence with you for some reason. Uh, if you are really confident with someone, you are really closer to this person, uh, you can ask them to come to the page. But uh, probably at the beginning this may be rude with other people because it means you are really confident with them. And this also means what's your name? Are uh, your nationality? It's like je suis Colombian, uh, je suis Estadounidense, uh, je suis Canadian, je suis Francais, etc. Which is I am Colombian, I am from the United States, etc. Like so uh, tell the people where are you from. Also you can ask uh Where are you from? Like let's suppose you have just meet someone at a bar and you want, hey, I like your accent. Where are you from? Uh No, je viens de Lyon. Oh je viens de London, je viens de de Côte d'Ivoire, je viens de etc. C'est toujours, uh, je viens, I am from. Et uh, si vous êtes déjà avec des autres personnes, et ils vont, et they are going to introduce you to someone, they can say, hey, je vous présente à, je ne sais pas, je vous présente à Miguel, je vous présente à John, etc. Let me introduce you to, or I'm going to introduce you to Miguel, to Juan, etc. Uh, also, uh, when you are meeting these people, you can say, hey, uh, je suis enchanté de faire votre connaissance. Or, oh, let's see, if, if you are a woman, you can say the same, but really it's quite different. Je suis enchanté de faire votre connaissance. I'm pleased to meet you. Or you can say uh, to, uh, je te ravi de faire ta connaissance. J'espère que nous pourrions nous rencontrer une autre fois. Which means, it was a pleasure to meet you. It was really good to meet you. I hope we can see you again, etc. J'étais ravi de faire ta connaissance. Also, when you are talking about yourself, you can uh, say, Hey, j'ai 21 ans. I'm 21 years old. It's like, j'ai 21 ans. In that case, you are probably willing to learn the numbers. Um, uh, let's suppose you are doing uh, some some touristic uh, <laughs> a touristic tour <laughs> with like your girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. Hey, vous aimez cet endroit? Do you like this place? It looks amazing. This castle. Vous aimez cet endroit? Uh, also, you can say more info about yourself. J'habite à Barcelone, j'habite à New York, j'habite à London, j'habite à l'Allemagne, I live in Barcelona, I live in Londres, etc. J'habite. And finally, uh, uh, class but not least, uh, if you want to know more about the people who are like, hey, I really want to know more about yourself, you can ask them. Uh, vous travaillez dans quoi? Where are you working on? Non, uh, je suis professeur, uh, uh, je suis entraîneur, etc. Uh, those are things they may answer. So, uh, those are some phrases that may be very interesting to learn in French at the beginning. So in that case, if you are interested or willing to learn French, do not hesitate to contact the Spanish 360 Academy. Uh, there are tons of teachers who may be really pleased to guide you through uh, the uh, learning English process. So I hope you have a 
really nice day. See you again. Bye-bye.